Hi there, David Taylor or Mr. Pelagonium. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today is going to be something a bit different. I've got a box to open that I've been sent from the Thompson & Morgan Group. More about that in a minute, so let's have a look. Okay, well firstly, um, there is a hailstorm going on. Uh, I'm filming this on Tuesday the 4th of May, or May the 4th if you're really into Star Wars. Um, the weather over the last couple of days has been absolutely bonkers. Storms, wind, gales. Um, early May, it's more like early March. It's been shocking, absolutely. The weather is not warming up. In fact, I think it's probably getting worse. Um, yeah, so our dire spring in the UK is continuing. Today, I'm going to open a box. I don't often do uh, parcel opening videos. I mean, I don't sell um, coffee machines or anything like that, of which there are plenty on YouTube that do that sort of thing. Um, but a couple of months ago, um, Thompson & Morgan, who are a large commercial gardening and nursery group in the UK, certainly if you're in the UK you would have heard of them before, um, wanted to uh, borrow some of the videos that I do uh, for the Pelagonium and Geranium Society. They just wanted to link some videos into a blog that they do as on their website and I was happy to let them have them. Uh, it gives, you know, the, the Pelagonium Society uh, videos that we do a bit of promotion as well. Um, so they link back to that. Some of you may have even seen the, uh, the links that came through from it. But also they said that they would send me out a press plant um, of one of their new varieties this year. It's a pelagonium or geranium as they would call it of course because they're a large scale nursery um, of a, a series of plants that they're calling tall, dark and handsome. Uh, more and more of the large commercial nurseries are getting into uh, um, selling these very long jointed plants that you, you know, you can grow up tall uh, to make really fantastic, huge tall displays during a summer. But I thought I'd take you through the process of undoing it. Um, I haven't yet decided, I don't really even know what's in here. Um, so we'll have a look, we'll make a decision on what plant I'm initially, what, what plant, what pot I'm initially going to uh, put them in. Uh, and we'll see, we'll see how they develop during the season. Now this is notwithstanding any of the work we do with the specialist pelagonium nurseries that uh, release new varieties bred by the amateurs. I've already mentioned um, nurseries such as Fibrex, the specialist pelagonium nurseries, uh, that we, we do a bit of work with. Again, we don't really sort of um, sponsor each other, but we do sort of promote the plants that they sell because Many of them are originally bred by amateurs. Places like Thompson & Morgan do not sell plants bred by amateurs. Um, so I just want to get that over because Fibrex, you know, they do help us with a lot of the work we do and we in turn try to give them a little bit of promotion, sometimes via this channel because they do help people like myself who are breeders with, you know, the odd free plant and things like that to help us along with our breeding programs. So it's a, it's a t totally different kettle of fish with big sort of corporate organisations like Thompson & Morgan. But I am prepared to uh, give this one a look at and we'll see how it goes during the season. Right, so I'm going to close in just so that you can see what we're going to open up. I haven't got a clue really what's going to be in here, so let's have a look. Right, I'm just going to unclip these staples. Now with the size of the parcel, you would think that it's going to be something... Well, relatively long, so let's have a look. There we are. Oh, look. Clever idea. I mean, it's one plant. Uh, they put a stick, obviously, straight down through uh, into the pot. And by wedging it in that corner, that stopped it from flopping about, which is very sensible, actually. I don't think it's come to any harm whatsoever having been uh, in the post for a couple of days. But clever use of the sticks. Um, there's a small supplementary stick in it that's just sort of keeping it together. 
Well, I think that's quite clever what they've actually done there. They've obviously got a specific size of box. Um, I'm just going to lift that up. And there we are. It's in a full nine centimetre pot. Put that there, get a bit of bump with it, obviously. Thompson and Morgan catalogue, no doubt. Promoting all their stuff. Obviously, they are a, a huge organisation that sells all kinds of bedding plants um, during the uh, during the summer. And there we are. It's the tall, dark, and handsome range. Um, the main difference between this and the pack antic group of plants is the fact that this has got a very, very dark leaf. The very dark medallion leaf. Uh, it's a single sort of pink bloom, but you can see there's very long jointed growth. Got a little um, clip there that's clipped into the, uh, the stick that was put in the pot. And this stick is the one that was used for the packaging. I'll probably take that out re realistically, but um, yeah, that's been packaged quite well and it's been completely sealed, no compost anywhere. I would say that that has been quite well uh, presented, to be honest. So we'll come back in a day or two, just let it get used to its new surroundings. Um, and then I will repot it once I've seen the, the compost just begin to dry out a little bit. Uh, and we'll get it up into a bigger pot. Right, OK. Hi there. Um, it's a couple of days later now. I've um, just let this dry out a bit. I do particularly like to let roots begin to dry out so that when you repot and you give the plant a water, the roots immediately start searching their roots through the compost. That's exactly why I do that. So this has dried out now. This was actually very wet when I received it, which is fair enough as how it should be. Um, so I'm ready now to pot it on. Now it's in a three and a half inch full pot, as I've said before. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it, I'm going to really force the growth on it and I'm going to put it in a five inch pot. So five inch plastic pot initially. Um, and I'll just close in now so you can see what I'm going to do. Well, the one thing that people do ask me, they ask me about compost. Um, now, I always say the main, the key thing, I mean, I've spoken about compost in the past is ensuring you've got a lot of drainage material in there. What I do is use seven parts of a proprietary compost, can be any type really, uh, but one part of um, horticultural sand, one part of perlite, and one part of fine grit. And that's what I do, that's my mixture, for anybody wanting a little bit of a, a quick answer there. So I'm gonna just line this up, um, this is probably over potting. I mean, we're into now, we're just at the end of the first week of May and this now is going to, I want this to grow fast. So I am over potting this, but this should be all right. It's designed to grow fast. So, I mean, I'm really hopeful that this will go away really quickly. I'm just gonna take this off. It is really quite dry, there's a good root system on it, very clean as you would expect. Um, I'm just going to, I've got a spare saucer there. I'm someone that does like to uh, just open the roots a bit. Um, I know various people have different ideas about that sort of thing, but I'm someone that very much does. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, yeah, that's about the depth that I want. So I'm just going to scroll that a bit. I'm going to sit that in the middle. There's plenty of room for plenty of compost to go around that. Um, I'll use my hands. Now this really will not probably be at its best until next year. It's going to need one winter on it, I think. But I'm hopeful that it'll, it'll really grow on fast. We'll follow its progress through the summer. Um, and hopefully, it'll, you know, we'll be able to see how it progresses. Tap it down. I don't need to put another stick in it just for the time being. 
it'll obviously end up as an obelisk or something along those lines with three or four sticks pushing up towards the middle to make a sort of a, a wigwam type effect. And we'll see how this goes. It will certainly go outside once I get it up again into another pot. Probably take it up to about an eight inch pot after this one. I wanted to grow on, on very fast. We'll just see how it uh, how it really develops. But uh, it's looking quite strong and sturdy. But that's got plenty of compost now to grow into in this early part, well, or late part of spring, very early part of summer. That's packed down. So I right know I've got a clean saucer here. And I'm just going to sit that into there. And fill up this saucer with water. To allow it to take that up. It's about half full. It's quite a sizable saucer. But, but I just want to really see exactly how fast it does grow. So here we are, a bit of an unboxing and potting on video. Uh, this is the, for information, is the Tall, Dark and Handsome series of plants uh, from Thompson and Morgan. Um, zonal pelagonias have got a very dark bronze leaf, uh, leaf which is very different to, the, say, the PAC antique uh, varieties, which have got plain green leaf. So this is quite interesting. Um, they've supposedly been working on them for a number of years. I think, I'm not quite sure whether this is the only colour they do, uh, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. And if it grows as fast as they say it should, um, it'll be interesting to see how it develops, potentially, as I say, over a couple of years. Uh, so that's that one for now. Um, I'll be back with another video hopefully next week, and I'll see you again very soon.